So here I have taken a question from application of integral and you have to find out the area of the region in the first quadrant enclosed by two curves. So one is the line and other one is a circle. So in these type of questions, like the first step is to draw the figures according to the given equations. Like we have a line here and we have a circle. So first uh, and here you just have to draw a rough, rough diagram. You don't need to like draw these things accurately. So I'll just draw a rough diagram for that. So you know that here a few things you can see here that this is the equation of the circle. So in the circle right now you can see it is 2 square so the radius of this circle will be 2 and you can see the center will be 0 0 so here this is the center and now I'm just making a circle so uh, this point will be how much this point will be 2 comma 0 the same way here this point will be 0 comma 2 so as as we have to calculate the first quadrant only so uh, I'm not writing the other coordinates now we'll just move to the next one that is the line so here the line is x equals to root 3 y okay so for that also we will make a rough diagram for this so x equals to root 3 y so here you can see 0 0 will pass through this point 0 0 we pass through this line so like this line will go here and you can also like uh, take one more coordinate to get the exact way where it can be so if we'll take one uh, y one uh, as your y so here we will get root 3 comma 1 will be the one of the coordinate so here see root 3 is less than 1 so you will get some point here so here you can say the line will be something like this so this is the equation of the line and circle you can see already now whenever you are getting like two curves or two equations so the first thing is to get the intersecting point so first step like we have drawn this thing now to get the point intersecting point of these curves you need to solve the equation so here this point will find out so if we can put this x equals to root 3 y in the equation of circle so here the equation of circle is x square plus y square equals to 4. So I'm going to put this x as root 3 y from the line. So I'll get this thing. And then if I'll solve it, so I'll get 4 y square equals to 4. So from here, I'll get y equals to plus minus 1. So as you can see, there are two values of y. So like one point is here, one point is here. So for the first quadrant, the y will be plus 1. So now you can say that this coordinate will be y is 1 so y you can put here so you'll get root 3 comma 1 so the intersecting point will be root 3 comma 1 so now we got the intersecting points so now let's see what we have to find out so we have to find out the area which is uh, enclosed between the first quadrant x-axis and the line and also the circle okay so here this is your x-axis, this is the line, and this is the circle. So finally, we have to find out this area. Now, if you uh, just look at this one, so you can see this is the line, okay? So if you'll find out with the line, you can get the area of this thing with the help of line. And then this other part, this is made up of the curve, the second curve. So here to find out the area of the shaded part, what we need to do, first we'll find out this area of the triangle. So how we uh, can do it? So we can do it with the integration y of line into dx will be the area of this triangle plus this, this part, this another part is from the curve. So I, I can write here, this is the part of the circle. So I can write here y of circle into dx y of circle and y line i am writing so that like we have we will substitute the value of y from the equation of line in the y line and y circle means we will substitute this value of y from this equation so here uh, the total area will be y from the line will be x by root 3 into dx 
then plus y from the circle will be how much? It will be root of 4 minus x square dx. So we need to find out this thing to get the area. But now I am missing one thing. Here we need to write the limits as well. Now you can see up to this point. So the limits for the first one that is for the line limits will start from 0 and it will go up to this point and at this point what is the value of x so that is root 3 so I will write here root 3 now for the circle now for the circle it is starting with this coordinate root 3 and it is going up to 2 so all these things you have to mention here so uh, the the curve part or the circle part is starting from root 3 and it is going up to 2. So all these things you have to take care while solving the sums. So first very important thing is to draw and after that you have to calculate it with the help of limits. So now I, I can solve it. So here integration of this uh, you know it will be x square 2 root 3 and then we can give the limits that is 0 root 3 and then plus we have here root over a square minus x square plus 4 by 2 sine inverse x by 2 and then we can give the limits so here we have 2 and this one is root 3 now we can put the limit so here uh, I'll get root 3 square will be 3 so I'll get 3 by 2 root 3 and the lower limit will give you 0 only so this is the so first part and then in the second part uh, we have upper limit is 2 so uh, I'll just get this first term will become 0 so I'm just going to write here 0 and then the second one will be we'll get 2 sine inverse 1 and then I'll just put the lower limit so I'll get negative sign so here root 3 by 2 and 4 minus root 3 square will give you 1 only and then here I'll just write minus sine inverse root 3 by 2 so this thing we'll get here and now we can simplify it the first thing can be written as root 3 by 2 and plus here we have uh, 2 sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 so I'm just writing that one minus uh, root 3 by 2 we have and then again a minus and this is root 3 pi by root pi by 3 sine inverse root 3 by 2 is pi by 3 so now we can see we can cancel out this thing and now we can solve it so we'll get here pi by 3 so we have pi minus 2 pi by 3 so that will give us pi by 3 units so we can also write pi by 3 unit square or square units so that will be the answer